Easy answer to that is yes, it is absolutely okay. In fact, the Psalms, there's 150 Psalms in the Old Testament of the Bible that's basically the, the worship literature of the Bible. It's kind of the songs of the soul. And you'll find that there are quite a few Psalms in there that are I'm angry at God Psalms. Uh, my favorite one of those is Psalm 77, where a guy named Asaph is just like, for the first half of the Psalm, he's just letting God have it. And I remember at one of the darkest moments of, of our life, it was uh, right in the wake of our second miscarriage, uh, I was reading through the Psalms, and I came across Psalm 77, and I said, that's how I feel. And then I realized that not only did some man of God 3,000 years ago named Asaph come up with this, but God let it be included in the Bible. And I asked, why would God let it be included in the Bible? I think it's because he wanted to send a very clear uh, message to all of humanity that it's okay. It's okay to be mad at God. But when you are mad at God, he wants us to bring our anger to him and not run away from him. He's a big God, he has big shoulders, he can handle our tears, he can handle our pain, he can handle our curse words, he can handle whatever we have to bring to him, and he's still going to love us, and he's going to do a repair job on our hearts on the backside of it. So I would say, yes, be angry, be angry with God, bring it to God, write worship literature that's I'm angry with God worship literature, and uh, it'll be as legit as what was included in the Bible in the past. Uh, frustration with God is something that's really healthy. By the way, that's one of the reasons why we do these question mark types of things, is that sometimes Christians will get this plastic relationship with God where no doubts are allowed, no anger are allowed, no questions are allowed. We want to foster the type of culture at Christ community where people can be really authentically who they are. If they're angry, if they're doubting, if they have questions, bring those questions and uh, invite God into that equation. That's how some of the very best spiritual growth happens is when we're at our pinnacle of doubt and anger and other uh, negative emotions related to God. God does his deepest work oftentimes in those times.